by dresses. Hey, and the shoes. Hey, and the music. Hey, and the blues. Hey, and the walls. little afraid of them in a way after seeing them only on television. I hadn't met them until this band stand. I thought they'd be very difficult to interview, but they're very polite and uh, kind of quiet off stage. I'd like to uh, talk now to Stevie and George. Fellas, you come on in here? Very nice to have you on the show finally. We tried once before, but the only way we could present you a new wave was on film. Oh. And now you are, five of you, plus two. Yes, Sammy and Murray. Right. And George, you write most of the songs, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. One of yours is a particular favourite of mine, which Stevie will sing later, I think. Well, did you do the lyrics to this? Yeah, I did the lyrics to this. I'll call in my book. Yeah. get to the sing that later. And you work together. Yeah. I'll sit down and plug yeah. away at chords and yeah. things like that. Yeah, uh, We don't have much time to talk because I thought people mainly want to see you, and this is probably one of your last TV appearances, if not the last, uh, and uh, hear you, of course. <laughs> but we did think, sitting down around the office the other day, that there's a way we can help you. Now, this is if we get the cooperation of disc jockeys and easy beat fans right around Australia. Let's think of some disc jockeys in Sydney. Will Austin, Tony McLaren, uh, Mike Walsh, Tony Murphy, Tony Murphy, Murphy yeah. Melbourne, Barrow, John Lund, John Lund, Lund. Ken Sparks, Ken, Ken Sparks, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bob Francis yeah. in Adelaide, Adelaide yeah. Bill Gates, yeah. up in Brisbane. 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 Oh, we've Brisbane. named a few names. Anyone else who wants to come in on it, disc jockeys around Australia, would you help us? Because we feel that if uh, you will supply information, names and addresses, of disc jockeys in England and Radio Luxembourg that uh, fans all around Australia listening to you will then write ahead of the Easy Beat and give them an enormous welcome when they get there because you're going to have to get work pretty quickly and by the way, yeah. three years, four years like Frank Garfield. <laughs> all right? Isn't that a good idea? Yeah, it's great. I hope so. Now you've got to back them up, Easy Beat fans and disc jockeys. Mike Vaughan may be in touch, right? Yeah, yeah. As soon right. as we can find out some English disc jockeys, we'll get all these uh, disc jockeys yeah. in Australia. It's all operate. Marvellous. Thank you very much. We'll be back with Easy Beats in just a moment. 